Hey guys and welcome back! Today we're back with the fixing free Roblox games to earn Robux. And if you're unaware, in the first episode, we started with Capture the Flag. This awesome Roblox template that, uh, well, I, I guess isn't exactly the most awesome, but it is a cool template nonetheless, and we transformed this whole build into this build, which is pretty magnificent. There's a couple more things that we need to add to this before we could call it done and move on to the next build that you guys left in the comments below, which uh, I saw it. There's two of them that are the top comments. Number one, fire versus ice. This is an awesome idea. I would love to do it and it sounds pretty fun. The other idea that got even more likes is roller coasters. That one doesn't sound fun at all. I've never made a roller coaster. I think it's gonna look like doo-doo, but I am a man of my word, so most likes I'll do it. Anyways, let's finish up the castle map today. The first thing I wanted to do was show you guys I did add the most liked comment about scripting. We have this that got 49 likes. You should make it so whenever you get a flag, a text comes up with saying you got the flag or it's captured by a username. So fellas, check this out. Let me give myself a little bit of walk speed here or a lot of bit of walk speed. And we're gonna go capture this flag. Boom, and as you can see, at I am Row Builder has captured the flag. Now we just take it across the map, shoot a little shoot, and boom, we captured the flag. So we did add that. If you guys wanna leave more scripted ideas, like what you wanna see added to the game script-wise, let me know by dropping those ideas in the comments below because we already have two more maps that are really good ideas and I'm not looking forward to the roller coaster. Anyways, with that main idea added from the scripts, we need to add in a couple things that I think will make this map a lot better for the gameplay. Maybe we'll just use the boxes that you could then jump up. I think that works too. I think the hill making it the, the right way is gonna take up too much space. So we're just gonna use these boxes as another way to jump up here. And on the other side, we'll go ahead and use the barrel just to switch things up. Nice. Now, the last thing that I actually wanted to add to this map will take us the longest in this video. It's going to be more paths. So right now, you leave the castle, you can go left, right, or down the middle, but everything's on one ground. So if you have, like, let's say you're up here, for example, you could shoot anybody anywhere. Something I wanted to add is a way to go underground to get to the other side of the map. And how we're going to do that is a sewer system. Let me go ahead and grab an avatar so we can get our scaling right. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make this yet. So we're going to start with just the cylinder and like the ground part. Something like that looks pretty all right to me. And of course, we're going to need a texture. Let's try to keep it in the low poly region. But none of these look that great. I was thinking some sort of like sludgy lava type. None of these are really fit in my fancy. I gotta be honest. Let's try this one. No, that's too leafy. This one could work. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty gross, which is a good thing in this build. Now I'm gonna make two things on the sides, which will just be like a dark gray and with no sludge on them. We might even go to light gray just because these feel a bit too harsh. Something like this. And now our main sewer cylinder, we got to figure that out. I do want to go a bit darker. Honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, just to figure out how to make this look good, <laughs> because right now it's a couple basic shapes. Let's group it together and move it over here. I'm going to move this up to stop all the Z fighting and I'm going to move these out. All right, now we don't have any Z fighting. The next thing I think I'm going to do is add in a part and make this look like some sort of great over the top of the sewer, but not on all of it. So there's gonna be like gaps. I don't know, let's set this to like 10 and let's edit this before we get too far along. Why? Why does this texture tile ugly? You know what? We're gonna send it for now, but I just hope you know I'm not exactly the most proud of it. Make that a bit darker. Our part itself is gonna be quite a bit lighter. And there we go. We have a cool little grate type thing. And we're going to space them out just like this. There we go. We have a little bit of a design going down the whole thing now. Not too, too bad. Up next, I want to add in the ends. Because I think you're going to just teleport into the tunnel and out of the tunnel. That is still to be determined. I do think teleporting would be super cool, though. We're going to make this really black and neon. And then we're going to add in three in front of it that have a bit more transparency. So it looks like this. 
Not too bad. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Not too bad at all. I think these are gonna have to come in more. So let's do one, let's set this to like two studs. All right, something like this isn't the worst. We need to figure out some sort of a texture for these walls or just something that livens it up. I have an idea. Building tools. We're gonna scale all of these in and then we're going to scale them out like this. All of those, we're just gonna make a bit darker. And then we're gonna switch our movements back to 10 and try to sort of copy what we did here. And I'd say wherever there's a grate, there will not be one of the, like this arch will go over the, the puddle. Well, that definitely brought some sort of a design into down here. The next thing that we need to do is make it so they can't just shoot each other right when they both spawn in here. Cause that would be, well, that would be a bit bad. I also think we need to add in some sort of a color coordination type thing so players that come down here don't get spun around too easily so i'm gonna paste one of these on both sides and just change the color of it all right i think uh because now this looks a little off you know what we're not gonna use these we're gonna use barriers so i have this barrier and this palette from my pack and uh it's gonna be pretty nice i can use these as covers so you can't just get shot right away. And then palettes are always nice. We do need to dingy up that color a little bit, sort of just dropping it down. And this will just be nice stuff to fill up this area, but also give players cover from the incoming RPGs. Now, I think we're gonna make these barriers the actual colors. So this is the blue side and we're using electric blue. So I think they're gonna stick out like sore thumbs. Maybe that isn't the best idea because I want something a little bit more low key that just doesn't look horrible. I have an idea. You know what? This, this could actually be the W here. That will be for the blue side and then we'll do the same thing, but on the red side, very low key. I like it. I think I'll add one more on the higher part of it as well. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Bring this on up, drag it back. Something like this. It'll just really let you know what side you're on. Oh yeah, I think that helps quite a bit actually. Now to add more detail to this thing, because right now it's a bit scuffed, I'm gonna go ahead and look around, try to fit textures on everything, and hopefully that sort of brings it to life. We'll also need some sort of lighting down here. Honestly? It might be a little too realistic for this build, but I don't think it's too, too bad. These ones definitely need a little bit of help here. There we go. Now I do want to find a new great texture because these just look ugly. I also think the pattern of them is kind of bad. So we're going to delete all of them and do one great across the middle or two grates across the sides. So the center center is still open. So here's the idea, guys. We can either go like this all the way down, which doesn't look horrible, or we can attach it to the sides like this and go all the way down, which also doesn't look too bad. I think personally, I like the sides one. Make people have to like kind of jump back and forth a little bit. Could be cool. Something like this. I'm not mad at it, bros. Definitely isn't one of my best builds, but you know, we're getting there, I guess. Let me get a light for down here. Yo, these ones, I actually hate them from the asset pack, but I feel like they have that dingy look, so might as well, I guess. Let's go ahead and put an attachment, and then we're gonna put a point light inside side of the attachment drag this down a little bit and i think i want to give like that green aesthetic from the light and just make the area feel even more gross i think we need an even darker green like a like just a gross green it makes it feel more haunted than gross what about a brown light all right we're gonna do something like this for now uh there may be something better but i think for now this will do it i am kind of just kidding myself like i'm gonna have to rebuild this when i'm not tired it's not like the worst build i've ever made but it doesn't really seem it doesn't seem like the greatest by any means especially in comparison to how good the castle is so i'm gonna look up some references and tackle this again off stream or i mean off video and i'll show you guys the the, the finished one in the next episode of this series I don't think I'm going to be able to put together anything too immaculate if I'm just like ridiculously tired. But here we go. Let's center this so there's no cheating. Let's put it under the map. And guys, this is going to be a whole secret. I mean, of course, if you're watching the videos, you're going to know about it. But check it out. To get down into these, ignore the Z fighting. You won't be able to see it when you're inside them. But to get into these, I think you're going to go out the back door and there's going to be a portal like like back here somewhere or like you'll jump to it 
I don't know. I'm gonna get that set up and then show you guys what's up. All right, guys, here we go. This is the gist. Um, I pre-modeled some teleporters. Like I said, man, I'm so tired. The video that was supposed to go up today is almost done, but I wasn't satisfied enough with it. So maybe it'll go up tomorrow and it's Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, it, it, there's just so much going on, guys. Of course, it spawns us on the red team when I put the teleport pads on the blue team. That's awesome. Well, I'm just gonna walk on over there for a second. Maybe, uh, maybe shoot a few enemies. I do think this game will be super fun when it comes out. I have a lot of ideas for it, and I know you guys have a lot of ideas for it, but I don't think I'll ever work on it again when I'm tired. These are, these look so ugly. The map looks so good, and then the sewers, man. No, just not good. I might as well grab the flag while I'm over here. Pro Builder has captured the flag. Let's go. Now, guys, going out the back of the base, no possible way to be shot. You'll step on a teleport pad, and then you will go into here. Um, okay, the- oh, yeah, because our camera went through here. I was like, why is it so dark? But check it out, guys. Then you'll go down here. Some underground warfare? You know, it doesn't look as bad as I am making it out to be. Like, it's not my best work by any means, but it doesn't really look that bad. I'm still gonna redo it, but for now, it is A-OK. -okay. Now, I didn't set up teleporters on this side, so we can't just teleport up into the back of their base or anything. Also, that might be like super overpowered going straight to the back of their base. So I'll have to figure out how I want to set that one up as well. All right, it is question time to wrap this video up. Our first question from the previous video comes from Grumpy Bones. Question, what's your favorite Roblox game? At the moment, my favorite Roblox game is Bid Wars. I almost said Bid Bid Battles and Bed Wars. I don't even like Bed Wars. Bid Battles is my favorite Roblox game right now. No question about it. Question number two is from Saiyan. Question, do you actually play Roblox or do you just use the studio apart from playing on your gaming channel? So yes, I do upload on the gaming channel pretty much every other day. And I'd say I play more than I upload. So yeah, I definitely do play Roblox. Most of the time, if I am playing, I'm trying to make a video, whether that's grinding something out or working towards something. Yes, I do end up playing Roblox quite a bit. Our last question is from CTD Entertains, and it's a good one. Have you ever come across getting stuck on something that someone asked for in a commission, like some sort of object that took so long to make? And yes, I remember it vividly. The first time someone ever asked me to make a basketball net, okay? Well, they wanted the whole hoop, but the hoop wasn't the problem. The net itself took me so long to figure out. Now I can do them pretty quickly. I learned, but I just remember, I was like, bro, please, can this be like one of the basketball hoops like in the hood or something with no net? Like just something else, man, can we not do the net? It was like, we need the net. So yes, it took me forever. It looked horrible. I'm happy this was a long time ago, <laughs> but it looked horrible. He thought it was okay at least, and uh, we went about our days. Had he ever commissioned me again? Definitely not, definitely not. But yes, man, the basketball net was the hardest thing I've ever had to do, or I guess the thing that I struggled on the most at the time.